Welcome to an FMIG web tutorial covering multiple browser ad blocking. What does this mean? Say you use more than one browser a day, maybe Chrome and Safari or Firefox and Opera. What you could do is get a different ad blocking extension for each of them, but that's complicated and inconvenient. Instead, you can get Glimmer Blocker, which acts as an HTTP proxy, which means it blocks ads on all of your browsers at once. Glimmer Blocker is free and can be downloaded from glimmerblocker.org. Just click the download link and when the disk image mounts, open the Glimmer Blocker package to install it. Once installed, Glimmer Blocker will appear as a preference pane in System Preferences. The first tab, Setup, covers the basic options such as activating Glimmer Blocker and checking for updates. The second tab, Filters, is where you set filters for blocking ads and other content on websites. Most filters are already there, but if you notice an ad on a site that wasn't blocked, you can create your own filters. Here's how. First, make sure the settings are unlocked. If the lock is closed, click it and enter your password and unlock Glimmer Blocker. Now add a new filter and name it what you want by clicking the plus sign here and add blocking rules or whitelisting rules to your desire by using the other plus sign at the bottom under rules in my filter. Check the site enhancements category for enhancing your browsing experience on certain sites. For example, check here to add a download link on YouTube videos. Safari keyword expansions are a special keyword to type into Safari's address bar to search different websites with ease. For example, type YT space cars to search for cars on YouTube. Now I'll quickly go over the other tabs in Glimmer Blocker. History shows a list of URLs that were recently blocked. Suspects shows a list of URLs from pages you recently visited that Glimmer Blocker thinks are ads. You can find additional settings for iPhone use and proxies in the Network tab. And finally, the Developer tab covers some developer-related settings.